Hi, this is Rob from SeeHowToDoIt.com. Before we start the video, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com to learn more. Today, we're going to show you how to install a new drain plug on a swamp cooler. This particular one is a Mastico Mobile. These principles you could use on pretty much almost any swamp cooler. Let's get started. We're going to be replacing this one because it is leaking. First, we're going to start by removing our stem right here. We'll go ahead and turn it counterclockwise. All right, we have it out there. Now we're going to start to remove the rest of it from underneath. Okay, on the underneath of the swamp clear, you can see you're going to have the nut over here. You're going to want to take a channel lock and go ahead and grab onto it and go ahead and clamp on there nice and tight. And then on the top over here, we're gonna go ahead and grab on that with a channel locks or pliers or pretty much whatever you have. Okay, we're gonna grab onto it here and we're gonna turn it counterclockwise on the underneath until we get the nut loosened. It's starting to loosen now, which if yours is really bad, you might have to take a grinder and even grind it off. Okay, we have it off and we're going to go ahead and pull it out here. Okay, we have it out there. Now we're going to be ready to install our new one, which we'll put a link in the description. Here's our new stem kit here. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Whoops. All right. And pretty much we're going to take the rubber gasket over here, the O-ring. Slip it on here. Go ahead and slip it through the hole there. There. And here's our nut over here. We're going to go ahead and put that on the underneath side. Okay, we're going to try to get as good as video as we can there. All right, we're going to go ahead and slip on our nut here. Be careful not to cross thread it. Starting there, we'll go ahead and tighten it, and now we're going to hold it on the top while we go ahead and tighten it with the channel locks here. All right, we have our channel locks underneath. We're going to go ahead and clamp under this in the top, and uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this clockwise. And you're not going to want to over tighten it. Once it gets tight, you're going to maybe want to go about a quarter of a turn past there, which right now we're pretty tight. So now we're going to be ready to put back in our stem and we're going to go ahead and Teflon that because that will help prevent any leaks. All right, we're going to go ahead and put on some of our Teflon here. We're on about two and a half times should be good. Break it off there. And now we're ready to go ahead and re-thread it in. All right, now we're done. That's pretty much as simple as that. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at seehowtodoit.com. Thank you.